Good evening, I'm Rick Garcia. And I'm Sharon Tay. Tonight, police held one of their most important lineups in some time now. Suspect Giovanni Ramirez, rather, facing a number of witnesses to see if they pick him out. Missouri residents are still digging out from Sunday's massive twister and now more tornadoes in the southern U.S. KCAL 9's Joel Brown is in Joplin, Missouri, where the death toll continues to rise. A bullet fired near San Pedro High School went through a classroom wall and hit a teenager's leg. It happened around 2.45 this afternoon. The 15-year-old girl wasn't seriously hurt, but the campus was locked down while police searched for that shooter. Well, how do you replace a coaching legend like Phil Jackson? Well, there's word the Lakers have picked a new coach, one who was fired from his last job. The Lakers said today that they have a deal in place and hope to sign a contract within the next few days to make former Cleveland coach Mike Brown their new head coach. Brown's name only surfaced as a candidate late, uh, late last year. After 25 years, television's talk show queen has signed off from her signature show. Oprah Winfrey now heads to L.A. where she's going to run her new network. KCON 970 Abrams watched the final show with some of Oprah's biggest fans at a viewing party in downtown mm -hmm. L.A. Nearly nine years after losing nine months of her life to, be, to a transient, Elizabeth Smart finally closed the chapter on her horrific abduction. She came face to face today with a man who charged her, or changed rather her life, Brian David Mitchell, as he was sentenced for his crime. Smart is also considering a career in law to help other crime victims like herself. What a sharp... He's living his dream as a sailor in the U.S. Navy, and now that enthusiasm and dedication have been recognized with a very prestigious honor. KCAL 9's Ventura County reporter Amy Johnson introduces us to Leonardo Calderon, the U.S. Navy Sailor of the Year. But we're happy to, hap to, hap we're happy to tell you rather that gas prices have fallen for the last 19 days in L.A. and Orange Counties and the Inland Empire. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hollywood studios are banking on fans heading to the movies this holiday weekend. And tonight, The Insider's Kevin Frazier gives us a behind-the-scenes sneak peek at some of the box office contenders. Tonight, we are going to venture into some strange territory, the creative, sometimes bizarre mind of artist, director Tim Burton. Yeah, a wild exhibition of his work is opening at the L.A. County Museum of Art, and KCAL Lines Juan Fernandez takes us on a preview. So cool. Yes, scary cool. Yes, yeah, scary cool. Uh, coming up, a day of high-profile trials around the country, some with political overtones, others just criminal.